In this video I wanted to show you a quick and simple way to copy a file to a Linux machine or server. This works with from Windows, Macs, or, or uh, Apple computers. I'm going to demonstrate it here on, uh, on Windows. I'm load, uploading this, I'm wanting to upload this ISO file to my Linux Proxmox server. And there's a problem in my the GUI where it's not working, so I'm just going to transfer. I just want to transfer it over in the command line, and what we'll do is SCP uh, for that. SCP stands for Secure Copy Protocol, and the the syntax for it is very easy. It's right here is the basic. It's SCP, and then the full path of, of the file name. I just put it as file to be copied, but that's the full path, not just the name. Then to the Linux server is the user account at you know, your IP address, that could be a domain name, but IP address, colon, and the location where you want to put the file at. Now, I'm going to demonstrate that here. Here's the ISO file. I'm going to right click on it in Windows, you'll go copy as path. Because I want to find the full path name. And I'm going to put it up here. I'm gonna, I have another copy of that. I'm going to paste it. The thing is, the, delete these little quotation marks. So I have SCP, the full file path of the cop file I want to copy. Then at my Linux server, the username for uh, Proximot is root. At, and that's the IP, internal IP address of my Proximot server. Colon, and this is where I want to place the file at. That's where your ISO files and Proximox goes. So, I'm just going to copy this. In Windows, you, you, use, uh, you can just use the command prompt. And Mac, you can just use or Linux, you can just use the, the terminal. I'm just going to put the file name here. Now, when I hit enter, the, if you the first time you've connected this server, it'll ask you if you want to accept the fingerprint, and you just type in yes, Y E S. But if you see, I put it in there. The the Linux server is asking for my password. I'm going to enter that in, and it's copied. This happens pretty quickly, so even this is an ISO file, it's almost three gigabytes, but you'll see this is basically happening at full line speed of my gigabyte internal Ethernet inside my house. Uh, so you see we're 63, 67, this is going to be over pretty quickly. And uh, you see it was 100%, and now my command, my prompt is back up. So it's done. The file is there now. It's that easy.